Have you ever seen pro players do this before? Well, in this video, I will inform you all about Peace Control, including what it is and how to use it. Make sure to watch the full video and make sure to subscribe because 93% of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Also, make sure to like this video if it helped you. Also, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. First off, what is Peace Control? Well, my definition of Peace Control and how I use it is basically to build every piece possible to close gaps around my opponent and end fights as fast as possible. As you can see from these clips, Peace Control is far from new but has grown in popularity over time. They were also even used by X and Sway. Also, Unknown and Reet have made Peace Control more popular and almost a must-have to know technique. Peace Control is very tricky to learn, so make sure to watch until the end of the video because I will give you tips and tricks on how to improve your Peace Control. Alright, so let me tell you my three tips and tricks. Alright, so let's get into the first tip. Tip one is to perfect your building. You're probably asking yourself, how can I perfect my building? Well, what I mean by that is to build almost like a sequence before you pull your guns out. Just making sure you don't overbuild. If you do overbuild, your opponent may get the shot out before you do. All you have to do is just build to where your opponent is in an unrecoverable condition and then go for a quick shot and reset. You might even finish off the fight before even having to reset. All right, so now let's move on to tip two. All right, so tip two is to close the gap with confidence. You will always need confidence because that is what makes you play better. What I hate is when I get someone very low and choke the shot just because I'm not confident. That's why you need to gain your confidence. Even though gaining confidence takes a long time to master, it is still very important. I know peace control takes a really long time to master. You just have to have a good mindset and the right mindset. All I'm saying is to make sure you are confident with yourself trading shots against the opponent without dying in a bad position. If you do die, in a bad position, this is what takes a lot of the confidence away, especially during tournament. Even if you lose two games and have zero points at your 10 matches in a tournament, you have to keep going. That's what confidence is. Therefore, that's why it's very important. All right, now let's move on to tip number three. All right, so tip number three is to learn the building grid. This is a pretty easy tip, but very overlooked. You can build anywhere and everywhere in Fortnite as long as it is connected to something. So what you should do is practice free building just like this. It doesn't have to be too much, too hard, and make sure all your surroundings are your walls and not your opponents. Alright, so that is it for this video. Make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button and like the video. Also, make sure you guys have the notification bell on because I do give shoutouts to the first people that click my videos. And yeah, peace.